Tonight, tears flow at Michigan State University, a campus in mourning. Hundreds attended a vigil at The Rock, that's the university's famous landmark, honoring the three students killed and five others who were critically injured after a shooting rampage Monday night. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza is in East Lansing, Michigan. Today, students and their families here at Michigan State University try to carve a path forward, starting with a vigil, a sea of grief and green. It's going to be hard for me and all my coworkers because we all liked working with Brian. Andrew Strominger was serving food at the student union when he heard gunshots. My first instinct was some of my coworkers in the kitchen, they were goofing around like they took a couple metal pans and were banging them together to get someone's attention or something but then they're all running and that's when I knew like this was life or death. He found out for his friend and co-worker Brian Frazier his fate was the latter. He was working in the kitchen and he got shot and killed. Frazier lost his life in Monday's shooting along with MSU students Ariel Anderson and Alexandria Verner. I was barricaded in my room with my roommate and trying to process that this incredible girl that I grew up with, she's just not here anymore. It's just not fair. It's not fair to anybody. Carly Hildebrand came back to campus with her grandmother to pay their respects. She was really, really smart. She played a lot of sports. She was probably one of the sweetest souls that I have ever met. Then there's The Rock, a mainstay on campus. Less than 24 hours ago, it was painted black written in red, how many more? Now in honor of the three students lost, what was black is now white. Repainted for the vigil, but also rewritten to send another message. Always a Spartan, like that's cool, but like I feel like if you have their names, it's directly saying they won't be forgotten and they are always a part of us forever. While students try to reason with what happened here, the FBI and local authorities are still trying to figure out the shooter's motive. We're told classes here at MSU are supposed to resume on Monday. In East Lansing, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.